Just as music has gone digital, the next step in instrument evolution is here. Which is why today we have the Eigenharp, a revolutionary new electronic instrument that can play the sound of multiple instruments. With 132 keys, two strip controllers, and a breath pipe, the Eigenharp Alpha allows musicians to play and improvise using a limitless range of sounds. Not only is it the first musical controller made for both playing and sequencing, but the Eigenharp can record loops, program beats, and layer multiple sounds. Curious as to how it works? Well, then gather around, kiddies, because it's musical playtime. All right, with us today, all the way from London, to show us how to use the Eigenharp, it's Finley Crowther. He's a musician at Eigenharp. Yeah. Everybody. I don't know, did you, did you teleport here? Because you <laughs> look like you were holding a future staff. Uh, yes, sadly not, hey, no. This looks like something the Wild Stallions would play, like Bill and Ted <laughs> are bringing world peace with this device. This mm. is the Eigenharp, right? That's correct. It's an electronic instrument, and it can be configured to play pretty much any other instrument, like a synthesizer, right? That's right, yeah. Um, you, can, you can use it for almost anything. Mm -hmm. um, Eigen's a German word meaning own, so it's highly configurable, and you can do all numbers of things with sure. it, yeah. And it's not just like a, a MIDI controller that's just spitting mm. out ones and zeros. This thing has all sorts of expression built in, right? That's right, yeah. I mean, each note is uh, movable in three directions, so that's three possibilities of kind of manipulation. Can, so you, can, you, can you show us that? Of example? course I yeah. can, yeah. So we have a, a native synth here. <laughs> And, um, so, okay, so the, velocity with, sensitivity. That's right, yeah. yeah. So when you tap it, it's, it's mapped to velocity. But if you move it up and down, you have pitch. Pitch bend, right. That's correct. And the yaw on it is a, is a resonance on a filter. Okay. And I'm assuming because it's your own, you can make that whatever effect exactly, you want. Exactly, yeah. And each note, that can be done to. So you have vast possibilities with this, really. All right. How many different instruments can you play right okay. out of the box? So by pushing this mode key, you have access to all the different options that are available. Mm -hmm. So here, are what we call sampler instruments. You have four of them. Okay. So you could load in your own sounds. I know the guys recently did like a kind of children's choir they sampled and uh, put that. They actually uh, stole the souls of the children <laughs> yeah. through the device. That's and right. They lived yeah, in there. yeah. Which exactly. is very impressive for a music <laughs> instrument. Yeah. So um, you can do that or you could have something more classical like a piano on there. And how quick does it to, is it to switch? Because I know it's designed to play live. Like if I said, yeah. hit me with a piano right now. It's right there. Uh, Just under your fingers, yeah. yeah. Phenomenal. And you can really hear the expression, too, how sensitive those keys are. Exactly. Well, that's why it's been designed, really, to kind of put back that expression into mm -hmm. electronic music. There's a full drum kit and sequencer built into this as well? Indeed, there is. Yeah, we have something called the Arranger, which is a step sequencer. Um, we also have these percussion keys down here. So these are sort of um, hardwired to, to play percussion or whatever you want? I'm yeah, you, yeah. You, I mean, they don't need to be percussion, but you can give them a good old whack. Uh, so that's a little digital kit, but you can do standard percussion Ex kits. Exactly. You can yeah. summon a unicorn if you press three of them at the yes, same time. So, so like, <laughs> this thing does everything. There's even a, I, like, I noticed the, like, there's a breath pipe up there. That's correct, yeah. And so so what is that for there? So at the moment, I have this kind of modulating sound, which can, can be modulated even further okay. by, um, by drawing breath on it. Oh, wow, okay. Has a kind of didgeridoo effect. Yeah, I was going to say, I can't, yeah. I don't, yeah. but no, no, like, hippie in Venice Beach is going to be using one of these buskering yeah. for change. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, at least in another 15 years or so. That That's right. And then what about the touch strip? I know there's so many devices on this thing. So, for example, I have the touch strip at the moment hooked up to a high-pass filter. So if I come down on that, it will just bring the loop in. Like a DJ tweaking a knob to exactly. drop the beat, right? And all the different sounds are stored where? They're not in the instrument themselves. This relies all, on All on the sounds right? uh, are stored in the computer. We wanted people to be playing this in 30 years' time. Sure. So we didn't want to put it within the instrument. 
And so the beauty of that is, uh, of course, you can then create your own instruments, your own samples, exactly, your own songs, exactly. and it's all shareable. And so many people have computers these days, it right. makes sense to kind of do your, do your editing there and then do your playing on this. Well, we, we've seen beat, we've seen how you can make melody. Mm. Can you make magic now? Because um, I'll do my I best. <laughs> yeah, how, how long have you been playing the Eigenharp? I've been Just playing the Eigenharp for five months now. So for five months yeah. of training, I mean, you're, you're a pianist, so That's you correct. definitely have yeah. some experience yeah, with, yeah. The, with the music. Yeah. But five months on the Eigenharp, please take it away, Finn. Cool. Absolutely impressive, sir. That was that was incredible. I was gonna say, man, I can't wait to drop a beat, and then I'm like, no, you got it right there. <laughs> you'll you'll be able to do it. Um, mission accomplished. Uh, I'm sold. Uh, is it gonna? Can I give you a kidney for it? How much is <laughs> how much is the Eigenharp album? Uh, if your kidneys were. Fifty-six hundred dollars. Fifty-six hundred bucks. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Which, look, it, yeah, pricey, but mm. in the realm of instruments, completely, completely sane because this thing has so much functionality. But sure, yeah. if the audience out there doesn't have that much, this is the Eigenheart Pico, right? This is a slightly smaller version. That's the entry level similar one. Similar yeah. functionality. Uh, also has the, the little breath pipe as well. Yeah. And this is for five hundred and sixty bucks. That's right? correct. Yeah. So does, that's cool. Does most of the things this one does. Right. And if you're saying, well, wait, uh, these are two things. I kind of want to hit the middle of the road. I'm yeah. indecisive. I'm a fence sitter. I really don't make decisions well. You guys have the Eigenharp Tau. Yeah. Yeah. Today the Eigenharp Tau has been unleashed, and that goes on sale for twenty six hundred dollars. Perfect. So there's an yeah. Eigenharp for everyone. That's correct. There yeah. You go. <laughs> Put it on the box. I really. Um, with five months' time, mm. that was an awesome demo. I can't wait to see what kind of music people are making with this in 50 years' time. Me too, yeah. That's going to be Definitely. impressive. Finley, thank you so much for coming thank on. Thank you, yes, yes. Yeah. That was the Eigenheart, ladies and gentlemen. And now, we're going to go over to Olivia.